Let's add some quizzes to Canvas. On the left-hand side, select Quizzes. On the top right-hand corner, select Plus Quiz. Select New Quizzes because these are the question types that are going to be most like what your students see on the STAR test that's online now. Go ahead and give your quiz a title. I'm just going to put Quiz Examples just to kind of show you what that would look like. You can change the points, assignment group, all of that good stuff. You can pick how you want to assign it to your students and then clicking build will take you to the instructions and the actual questions. All right, if you click on add instructions, you can add text instructions, you can add media instructions as well. When you're done adding those instructions, instructions, just click done and then click on the blue circle here to add your different types of questions. So you have all of these amazing types of questions. I'm just gonna show you quickly the behind the scenes of building a multiple choice question, um, because this is really important. A lot of times people wanna put the question right here. This is actually just the question title. You do not need to fill that out. The question stem is gonna be where you would put the question that you want your students to answer. Um, and you can do that with media or text. Make sure you select where the correct answer, which of the answers is correct. And over on the right hand side, you actually have the ability to add feedback for your students based on either correct answers or incorrect answers. You can also delete an answer choice if four is too much. Um, you also have the ability to add an answer here if you needed more answer choices. Important parts of this, make sure you assign points. You may have a quiz where one question is worth 50 points and another is 25. It's really up to you. And right here is another way to be able to give student feedback. So just know you have a couple of different places where you can give feedback for your students, which is really helpful um, if your students are taking their quiz and at different times at a different pace. Go ahead and click done. Now I did not put any actual question types because I have one already completed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. All right, so here is a quiz that I've created already. I just wanted to show you the background. Anytime you have this view, it's just the overview of what your quiz would look like. If you click on the pencil on the question, you can go back and edit it. If you notice, I did add some feedback over here for this question. I added a sticker for a correct answer. And I added feedback on the question on the answer that I thought my students may get tripped up with. Okay, looking at the bottom part, notice I assigned points. Click done takes you back to your overview overview view. And now you have a multiple answer example here. I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like in the background. I put the question title, select the answers that are correct. Just notice that you do have the ability to give partial credit if your students need that. Um, and you can also delete answer choices as well. Assign those points, click done. The next question type I have here is the fill in the blank, which I think is really cool because you can actually select the type of answer you want your students to have. So maybe it's open entry, drop down, or a word bank. So if you notice over here where you put your actual question, you use the back ticks that look like this to be able to let Canvas know which word you want taken out. And then you can have the different possible choices for your students to pick from if it is a drop down. Um, again, assigning points, feedback if needed. And then when you are done with your quiz, just click return. It takes you back to your quizzes page and just make sure you publish it by clicking on the caution sign. You notice publish pops up and now it is ready to go.